All right, now we're talking. So this is the fastest car here? Yeah. Nice, this is your car? Yep. Dude, all right, all right. So, uh, this is obviously, you know, mildly modified. Nah, it's a bit. It's a little bit. A little, little modified? Yeah. So, what's going on here? That's a um, supercharger. <laughs> no. Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> so, right here we have a, what is it, Vortec V3? Yep. Or is it one of the other ones? No, it's a V3. V3? Yeah. You have a Corvette Supercharger. It's from A&A Corvette. Mm -hmm. You got this used, didn't you? Yep. Good. <laughs> Look at this thing. So, intake right there. So, the intake is in a stock location, technically. Yes. So, this car much. is stock. Yep. No, it's, it's <laughs> so, stock as it gets. I mean. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, stock motor? Yep. Completely. Good, good. I mean, the, the, the factory motor can handle a shit ton of power. Yeah, bro. So, let's see. Blows here directly into the intercooler. Mm -hmm. Water to air, I assume? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's got hoses and pipes on it. Mm -hmm. Blowing right into the manifold. So you've got uh, RC injectors. Yep. Um, let's see, real nice stuff, man. Yeah. So you have an uh, Optum battery. Yeah. Got to get that little compact thing in there. Yep. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see, upgraded radiator, Megan Racing. Yep. Uh, what, else, what else is going on here? Yeah, that's Haltech Supercharger. Yeah. Haltech tuned? Yep. Okay, okay. How do you like it? Did you, did you tune it? Who did the tuning? Durf. Durf? Yep. Oh well, yeah, that's Shout out to the kind of what's going on. <laughs> nice, nice. And uh, what what coilovers do you have? Yep. Oh, I'm, actually, I'm not sure. I bought, I bought the car with the coilovers installed, but uh, okay. I think they're what, what are they called? H1. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know anything about S2000s. Yep. Me neither. <laughs> um. <laughs> let's see. Oh. Let's see what else is going on here. So you get the top down. Yep. All right. Okay. So not, not a whole lot going on here. You have the little screen there. Yeah. That's actually a great. That's actually a great option for a gauge. Instead of having like 17 gauges, yeah. you just have you one choose, that tells you, you everything. Choose. You know. Yeah. Dude. It's dope. Real clean, dude. Real clean. Thank you. No, yeah, not bad at all. Appreciate it. And then over here, this is a Maria's Evo, isn't it? Uh, it's uh, this dude's Evo right this here. Dude, this Evo. Yep. Yeah, where's Maria's Evo? Oh, she didn't bring it today. Her? She didn't bring it? No. Okay. Okay. So what's go? What's going on here? Because I don't see a lot of Evos anymore. Nah, you, you don't. You don't. They're either broken or. <laughs> or broken or or, um, <laughs> or nobody they're broken or uh, or you know what they're either broken or they're owned by AG yeah that's true that's true you know like that's that's pretty much it yeah. so this is uh, the first Evo that I've seen in a long time that isn't broken <laughs> yeah so what do we have going on here uh, it's just full bolt on stock full turbo. bolt on stock turbo is it Evo Evo 8, eight? yep yeah. it's up with a bumper yeah. Uh, let's see. Like machine's going wild. Let's see, you've got the Tomei heat shield. Yeah, What's most of the uh, HKS SSQB. Okay. That's an old SSQB. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, upgraded upgraded uh, coils or no? Yep. Okay. Mm, just kind of spot things as I go. So you have uh, adjustable cam gears, kind of necessary. Uh, do do do. Yeah. Nothing crazy. So, what is it making like 400, 450? Make it 330. 330? Yep. Nah, you could get more than that. I mean, crank, I have a bigger turbo at home. Crank it up, dude. Crank it up. Crank it up. <laughs> Five, four, 500. 500. I'm, I'm hoping to hit 500. Uh, I got a big turbo at home, FP Red. I got S2 cams. And you know, when I rotate it, it should make like 500, 550, no problem. Yeah, you know what rods and pistons? Uh, no. Stock, uh, it's going to be stock block. Uh, listen, listen, listen. CP pistons, Carilla rods, right? Cams. Yeah. Valve springs, 500 horsepower. Well, 600. I'm, I'm Actually, doing, at that point, probably running for like 800 valve valve horsepower. I'm doing cams, valve springs, retainers, and lifters. Okay, okay. So and then I got a GT. Ahead. You know what? If you need a GT 3076R, I got one for sale. I mean, shit, I, mean I, already have, I already have a turbo wing. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, fuck. Well, otherwise, I would have. I would have been down. What, uh, what turbo are you running? FP Red. A what? FP Red. FP Red. Yeah, it's not FP familiar FP. with that. Uh, what's, the, what's the Garrett equivalent? Honestly, I have no idea. It's how a much? 54 millimeter. 54 millimeter? How much, how much horsepower is it rated for? I mean, you can make 500, 600, no problem. Okay, so it's like a 3582. Yeah, roughly. Those, those these cars are like the best uh, autocross and track turbos you can put on. Dude, I see you have a little bit of humor here. Thank you for being a super owner. Yeah, I also got the matching hat. You know, with a with a matching hat. With like a matching this, hat. Like this guy. <laughs> you know, you know what you need to put like a vape right here, just right there, and like a nice fat mod. Ah, uh, mod. All right. And what's going on with this wing? You got this crazy, you got this crazy wing going on. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Voltex wing, is that like Voltron, but like X? Is that Vol is this Voltron's X? It could be Voltex. There you go. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Carbon fiber dual element wing. I thought dual element wings went out of style, but uh, looks like they're back. Okay. This is interesting. 
big wing. Yeah, it's kind of got a 3D, 3D setup to it. Because you know, like, most of your downforce actually comes from, like, this portion of the wing. Yeah. You know? So having, having it wider and having it come out a little more, I mean, this might cause some drag, but you get a lot more downforce. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You got a really high angle of attack, too. Yep. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Are these real? Yeah. Dude, you never see real wheels in Miami. Wow, T37s, look at that. Yeah, I used to have XXRs and I swapped them out to get these. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, definitely. You know, Definitely the only the only XSRs I like are like the five two ones. I think the okay. thin spokes. Five twenty sevens. Five twenty sevens. Yeah, everybody yeah, those. Those. yeah, I mean they're cheap and they're they look good. So exactly, whatever. Exactly. Uh, anything going on in the interior? Anything cool? Uh, just pretty much standard. Yeah, let me let me get on your side. Yeah. Pretty much standard. Painted all the panel. Uh, the uh, the interior piece is black. Okay. Okay. No carbon fiber gauge pod there. Oh nice. And nice, other than that nice. is just pretty much stock for interior. Gets the job done. You know. Definitely. Definitely. The only thing I, d I didn't I didn't really like about the ergonomics of the Evo interior is that because it's based on a like a regular car based on the Lancer, yeah. Yeah, based on the Lancer, the shifter is kind of far away, but mm -hmm. you can fix it by just getting a taller shifter. So yeah, whatever. I plan on getting the uh, the IRP shifter. Okay, so IRP like shifter. Really, yeah, it's higher and it's supposedly it's like the best short shifter you can buy. Oh yeah, I had something similar. Uh, I basically got an extended rod. Okay. So instead of um. That I would have, I would screw the rod onto the shaft, okay, and then I would put the knob onto the rod, and I think that gave it like the tall shifter look without the dildo shifter. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, <laughs> it actually made, they made it look a little more racy like that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it looks good, man. Good stuff. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. See you, brother. I always wind up sideways. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna do it, bro, right? <laughs> you're a little little thing. A little thing. Not a big thing. Just a little thing. I can try. I can try. Yeah, a little a little thing. I can try. You know, send it in the uh, supercharged S2000. Let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom.